Welcome to Midwest Sportsnet. Hello, I'm Joey McWilliams. It's a privileged day to be joined on the summit by Coach Doug Frizzell from Wartburg College. And the Knights are 17-0 and right now. Coming off a fantastic weekend in your own invitational, Coach. You get four more wins over the weekend. Talk about how things have gone and what it looks like now. Midway through the season, still undefeated. Yeah, it's a great group of young women. Um, I'm a coach's kid, and my dad used to say how much he loved his seniors, and I understand it even more so this year because, I mean, it's it keeps – you know, when you have a group like us, they've played so much volleyball. They've seen everything, uh, and they kind of knew coming into the COVID year that this was – we had a chance to do, you know, be special, and then things changed. We had some players uh, that we shut down during the COVID season for a variety of reasons. So we are excited to see this season – uh, stick to the fall, and uh, it's been a, just a fun group of ladies to get to coach. Coach, I agree entirely. I'm glad to be talking about volleyball in the fall where it belongs. Mm -hmm. That That's just fantastic as far as I'm concerned. You are number 10 in the country right now, so you're getting some national recognition as well with the undefeated season. Yeah, you know, the players tease me. So, Joey, I'm not, I have no social media. I didn't even know we were ranked until they told me. No offense to media, because I'm thankful for what you guys do. Our local guy teases me too. Um, but what I tell the players is that that's a that's their hard work. It's uh, what they're accomplishing during this season, and and obviously people are starting to notice. So we're definitely thankful. Um, and you know this group is not content. That is definitely true of them. Uh, you know seniors can sense the clock is ticking, so it's it's a little easy for them to to understand that uh, uh, maybe better than underclassmen. But yeah, we're thankful. Um, there's a lot of great teams in the country, and we're just going to keep trying to get better. We're here on Midwest Sports Net, as Coach Frizzell has not seen to this point, so hopefully <laughs> get a chance to watch it a little bit later on. I will. <laughs> I'm excited, I, and I'm I'm excited sorry about that opportunity. No, no, no problem at all. I think that's hilarious. And, and you know what? You're focusing on what you're supposed to be focusing on, and I agree entirely with that let's talk about your seniors too here on midwest sports net and by the way if you have not yet subscribed please do subscribe to the youtube channel we would appreciate that you have a number of seniors you mentioned them already twice and and these seniors really are leading the way for you kylie bill stein 3.69 kills per set she's doing it hitting 434 a very impressive 434 that's tops in the conference as well and that really is a theme as we talk about your seniors and and where they rank in conference statistics but uh, kylie's one of three players that are hitting better than three kills per set for you uh she's something else and just very briefly joey she's fifth year senior during her time she's had her appendix out during the middle of a season um, absolutely shredded her ankle right before the spring season started last year and thought maybe her whole career was over because she hadn't decided to come back yet. Um, I like to say she's a, she's a dairy farmer's kid and just is one of the best young ladies I've ever coached. Um, and so to see her have the success is not surprising because she's had a heck of a career, but this year even more so. She's been as dominant as, uh, you know, we've seen her. And we've I've had some other All-American middles over my time here at Wartburg and uh, she's doing things that they weren't able to do. So I'm excited for her, and we all are because we know what she's gone through. Um, and then Katie Foster is another fifth-year senior who's already – I mean, she's been All-American, been conference MVP, all these awards. But kind of like me, they're more concerned about who the next team is. Um, uh, but we're, it definitely keeps my heart rate low when you walk onto the court with these young ladies, Joey, because they've played a lot of volleyball, and we're excited about uh, the success that they're having. Now you talk about Katie Foster and, and another senior leading the way for you. Here's another conference stat, 5.97 digs per set. Obviously tops in the conference. That's a number that's pretty hard to beat nationwide too. It is, and here's the thing. that and this We've had three matches where I know the coach has told their players not to hit at her. So that she, <laughs> I mean, her, her stats honestly would be a lot higher. And then the team hits at her and she has 30 digs. So it's a compliment, and she has the maturity to handle that. Uh, and so it's fun. And these two, even in practice at times, you know, we do a lot of mixed stuff. Katie wants to be on the other side of the court so she gets to dig highly during practice because <laughs> she doesn't always want to be on the same side. So fun group along with the other four seniors. Um, they're also just great young ladies that have led our team well. Um, and they're just a joy to coach. You know, our word for the year has been thankful. And I mean, I am thankful every day I get to be around this crew and get to, to get to coach them. Coach, let me talk about one more Wartburg senior for sure than Claire Marsh. 
10.28 assists per set. Again, another number tops in the American Rivers uh, at this in midway point through the season. And she really seems to have, have stepped up her game here mm-hmm. in 2021. Yeah, so she came great high school setter right here out of Waverly. Um, she uh, got on the floor as a freshman playing defense and serving. And then we ran a 6-2 for a few years. Uh, and, and for her to be running the show as a 5-1, I'm happy for her. Um, she's a quarterback, Joey, that's what setters are. And they got to make lots of decisions. And so for me, again, you know, at her point in her career, I can just, you know, I might be giving some feedback, but we've gone through so much together. Her decision-making on where to put the ball and how to set up hitters at the net is fantastic. And that's a big reason why, you know, our hitters are doing what they're doing. Um, and the team's so excited for her too. She's a great leader. Tell you what, she's a tough kid too. Um, she actually got need right in the head against Dubuque Tuesday night had to go out in the third set. We dropped that set, and I look at our trainer. Our trainer says she can come back in. So we end up, you know, she comes back in and win the fourth. But she is a tough kid, and just, again, somebody I'm really thankful to coach. Well, it sounds like a team effort all the way around, and, and mm-hmm. to this point, again, undefeated. But you're heading now into an, another portion of the schedule, uh, the the American Rivers, 2-0 and so far. You have a few more games on the docket before you get into postseason play. And one of the things about the ARC also, I mean, it's a single-round robin. So really every match is important if you want to come away with a conference championship and then what you do after that. Can you talk about the rest of your season? Yeah, you know, we got Luther coming in Wednesday night. Um, so we try to stay, again, fixated on what is next. Uh, and so we'll be preparing for them for the next couple of days. And then we head out to Nebraska Wesleyan on Saturday. And the, the players look forward to travel because that's a, kind of another fun time that we didn't get to do last fall. Um, so that'll be a good trip. But our conference continues to get stronger. We have uh, obviously good coaches. Um, and I've noticed, too, a lot of our teams are playing tougher schedules, which is good. Uh, seeing a lot of the other regional opponents, which we like. And so, you know, we never think anything other than what's ahead and uh, try to be prepared for that. Um, and know that our every conference opponent is going to be a challenge. So looking forward to seeing Luther. Of course, the Wartburg Luther is a big rivalry. It's like the sister schools. So uh, we should have a fun crowd, and we'll look forward to seeing them come in here. And um, but these two days uh, is what we're looking at right now is getting ready for them. And and then yeah, well, it, the single round robin we're used to it, Joey. I mean, I was a college basketball player, so you always kind of had the home and away. And you know, then you kind of knew, okay, we defend home. We, we got to try to get them on the road, but. When you're in a single round robin, you don't have time to think about anything but just trying to be great that night right there. Um, And so, you know, our players are used to it, but we definitely understand the significance of that. Well, Coach, it it should be a fun one then as you all have that home match and and hopefully uh, the folks up there appreciate what they are seeing here in 2021 as you travel through the American Rivers Conference schedule and and hope to make a run not only deep into the conference tournament, but to make it back to the NCAA tournament. And I know that's ultimately what you're looking for. Coach Doug Frizzell, thank you so much for taking time with us today. We will continue to follow you here on Midwest Sportsnet, and uh, we look forward to seeing how the nights go here in 2021. Hey, thanks, Joey. And even though I'm not a social media guy, I appreciate what you do. (laughs) Thank you, sir.